Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel Tiffy. Last week my boyfriend and I found out that our cat might be pregnant. Sombra always has been very much interested into food and every time we were opening the refrigerator or some sort of a closet that food was hidden in, she was always there and was meowing and begging for food instantly. And of course, as normal cat owners, freshly basically, we got them on the 2nd of April, uh, we thought that was just like her personality, right? When our cat then slowly became bigger and bigger and our other cat didn't and it was completely normal looking, we were kinda concerned. <laughs> First we thought maybe because they're still young that she would have just like a bigger belly for a while because maybe her stomach was growing faster than the rest of her body because she's a very big cat. And last week my boyfriend was just like, could it be that she's pregnant? And like immediately when that question gets asked in any sort of situation you're like, and immediately we went on the internet and we're like searching for everything like how long is the pregnancy of a cat lasting and what the fuck? Because our cats are not sterilized but we have been so careful of not letting them outside and in this house are no other cats that are not castrated and they haven't been in any physical contact with them either. So it wouldn't have been any possibility, at least of our caretaking, of one of our cats getting pregnant. But quickly we realized some indicators of a pregnancy and that was kind of scary. Sombra was never in heat. Sombra was always very chill about the fact of going outside or not because she never really needed to go outside to get pregnant. You know what I mean? Because when they get in heat they really have the spring fever basically. They want to get banged. But Sombra never went into that phase, which was kind of weird because only either sterilized or pregnant cats go into that. But as fresh cat owners, we didn't really pay attention to that or like realize that in the first start. Also, I found out on Google that cats' pregnancies can last up to 70 or 60 days. And as I've already told you, we've gotten our cats on the 2nd of April. So that if it's right in my calculations, should be around 60 days. And the longer we thought about it, the more probable this idea was becoming. Also, everything that we found on the internet, what was like indicators for it, were right on her. She has like bigger nipples. Uh, we always thought that was just a normal thing with her. Like always when we were petting her belly because she really enjoys that, you were always hearing either one of us saying like she has such big nipples that's so weird you know because like the other one diva doesn't she's normal she's weird but she's normal you know what are you doing what is there So that is also an indicator for having a pregnancy. And then the other day she was laying down on the side, looking around just like that. And she's become very lazy and like her belly has just become so big so that she was barely moving anymore a lot and just like laying around. <laughs> and we actually saw something moving in her belly and she was looking at it too so we were not tripping and luckily we're two people looking at the same thing and like it's not only me sitting there and completely freaking out and when you kind of touch her belly uh of course very softly very gently and only if she allows it we're very careful with that and like we're not picking her up anymore to try to prevent any danger for her babies oh god then you kind of can feel that you're moving something in her which you wouldn't usually if there wasn't things in there that are not only organs so yeah we have a pregnant cat we decided to have two cats rather than one we, well first we decided to have a cat then we saw two cats and we're like yeah why not now we're gonna have 10 probably maybe i don't know I, we don't know how many are going, going to come out because we didn't see any necessity of going to the vet to check up on that because 
cats have been living through pregnancies before humans were there and before x-rays have been happening so she's going to be fine if she's going to have babies and it looks very much like that she has babies and not a sickness or something like that so we're just waiting for the day to get more babies more kitties it is an exciting time and i'm happy but worried at the same time um but i'm keeping you guys updated and sombra is really doing fine the one only funny thing slash sad thing for her is that she's kind of failing of licking her own ass anymore and like i mean it's if you have feces hanging on your butt it apparently itches a lot and of course she kind of has to get rid of that because that's not hygienic and whatever and she's doing that herself but she cannot reach her butthole anymore and diva decides not to help her out so she kind of sits down on the floor and like scrapes her butt over the floor kind of it's looking very funny but she's all right everything's good she's not having any butt infection or something she's good <laughs> i hope no cat fighters are going to come for me and yell at me for doing so many things wrong right now. Today's shout out is going to be for Rachel who was nice enough to comment on my was moving abroad the wrong choice video and she left a pretty long comment and I'm going to insert it right here but uh, reading it out would take a long time. I really felt sympathy for her and empathy and everything like that. And thank you so much for sharing your thoughts. I really appreciate it. All right, you guys, don't forget to check out the giveaway. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheerio!